right into this. No hesitation. Nitro and Ketchup. Nitro going with the Joker here to face off against Ketchup's Ludwig. Nitro, of course, himself barely survived the challenge from Aster in the round before this. Has to find some of that confidence back and fast. It's going to be Hedger who finds the early lead with a couple of combos, but that rapid jab on the shield, it should be a punish. Nitro just went for an empty pop. And what a conversion with a hammer swing as well. Off the of Oh my goodness, he found it again! Two conversions off of that Kikou, but this time with that aerial as he already positioned himself to get the kill. Only 13% taken. This is looking like a very strong start for Ketchup. And continuing with these up air chains. This is the Mecha Group up on the platform just to occupy that space, but I mean, at this point, Nitro's barely even been able to get a straight hit in. A couple of extra grabs already depleting that Rebellion game. Excellent rapid jab parry as well. Is that going to be the kill? No, he had time to pull out the shield, but his second one is going to get the kill. Nitro already down to his final stock. Ketchup only 31% taken. And this is looking so one-sided here. Continuing this assault, Arsene already back out again. That cage does fill up faster when you are behind a stock or a percent and down two stocks. That's going to be pretty much lightning speed as it goes up. Excellent egg ale to put on a bit of damage and some much needed damage as well. But Ketchup just seems to have Nitro's number right now. Another back air as he goes forward. Ford slides under the down tilt. Through with that fork. Filling up that gate, that one rapid jab pretty much did half the meter. And another, that neutral air off stage actually getting the kill. Ketchup only took 55% that entire match, and Nitro just lost for any course of action there. I'd be really surprised if we don't get a switch to Richter after this. That was just brutal from start to finish on the master class. It is going to be the Richter switch from Nitro. What a performance by Ketchup in game one. And if he if he's able to play the rest of his games today, the rest of his sets the way he did in that introductory game, there is there is fearsome, and then there's Ketchup on a good day. He has the capability to really beat anyone. This guy has wins on Cosmos, he wins on boys, you know, top players alike, so many players, no matter the opposition. Nitro doing a bit better to play this a tiny bit more safely with some of this projectile pressure, but it's still catch up with an early slight lead. Bounces back. He will be working his strides back to the mic. I feel like Strides, you were barely gone and you missed all of that game one. That was just so fast. Oh, Ketchup? Yeah, he probably did something crazy. Uh, there's some crazy Ketchup combos. I mean, he three stocked him and took 55% of that entire game. So. Oh, wait, did he play Richter game one too? No, he played Joker oh, game what one. What the heck? He's not good. Dang it, crazy Ketchup. It's actually interesting to me that uh, Ketchup started out with an ultimate a little bit stronger than Terranator. When in the previous game, Terranator was like considered better. Uh, but now these days, uh, Ketchup arguably has some like, really good results. I think, I think actually Terranator is still ranked that Ketchup isn't for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Partially did the results. Nitro gonna get the first stock on with that holy water conversion. But like, I don't know. Ketchup is like really good with his character. He like is one of the people that gives uh, others hope that Bowser Jr. is like not a like really low character like on the series. Yeah, I feel like there's something added usefulness to uh Kart and Killer the side special, which Tater sort of favors less in exchange for the Mecha Koopa. That just plays more into Ketchup's favor than it does to most other guys in the game. Oh, wow, yeah, you can armor through some of the projectiles for side team that's interesting. Ooh. Okay, right now though, uh, Nitro is saying, okay, you beat my Joker. I'm gonna go back to my Trident crew and get all these hits. Dang, the cross to the up air though. This is a good setup. I feel like it, it consistently pops you up in a certain angle that makes you do the combo. I've never seen the Holy Water off the ledge like that. All right, Nitro's popping off. 
I really do think that this is like Nitro's like soul character in this game. Yeah, I mean, it, it, as hard as it is to make the character work at the top level play, Nitro just finds a way to do it. And, I mean, he's doing the catch up what catch up did to him in game one. Nice up air strings. Kind of wish catch up instead of continuing up airs. Like, he would just use one of his aerials, like, back there to force him off stage into an edge guard position. Probably could have got the stock like that because of uh, Rick's recovery. Really, really bad. Special out of shield, meanwhile, covering like, and force that high use of the clown card, which he had perfectly scouted out. That holy water occupying the ledge perfectly. <clears throat> Yeah, I actually really love the, um, oh, is it free hit? Yeah. I really love how he uses the cross, because, like, wow, he's getting called by so much with Holy Waters. And the cannonball actually saved him from the axe, too. That's interesting. I've never seen that interaction off stage. But, uh, yeah, I like how he uses the cross to set up, like, like, the returning hitbox of it. It might come back to help him here. Yeah. I'm going to die. Forced to let go of that rabbit jab a tiny bit early. Is going to have enough room to tether back to stage. Edge guard? No, wait. Oh, he barely missed. Man, that would have been such a good forward air for him. He just, wow. I've never seen that freeze frame. Like, back, angled back air tipper. Oh, that's like perfect space. Crazy. Before the holy water even popped as well, knew that he wanted to jump at a disadvantage. And catch up. As good as he looked in game one, if Nitro continues this Richter play, this looks like it might be a set that could be just strongly in his favor. Yeah, this is another example of being able to use multiple characters like at a high level. And not only that, using a combination of characters that sort of covers each other's weaknesses. Yep. If you have two characters who are good in the same situations, if you play Doc and Mario, you know, there's still the same matchup, but more or less that are going to be unable to Architect characters, even if the exact versions and combos themselves are different, yeah. the game plan is not too dissimilar. Yeah, it's true. Using characters, like characters that help each other pretty well because they do different things. It helps out. So let's see how Ketchup handles this game. Already starting off strong in here. Nice. I'll smash to cover the roll. I really want to see uh, how's that Vegas movement work in neutral because of Nitro projectiles as well. I feel like he just broke into the intercept that move if he wants to do it. Yeah, he certainly can. That's exactly what we saw in game one for the crosses. Or game two, rather. Ketchup though, he's starting to set up at the ledge. Nice. Catch that neutral get up. Still keeping a lot of pressure here. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the nair out of shield. He actually did get a punishing. Um, he shield the get up attack, but he wasn't ready for a hard punish. He asked him if he was focused on ways to keep uh, Nitro out off stage. Like right here. <laughs> it's a big opportunity right now. Oh, does it come with a roll? He gets caught on the platform trying to get his own setup to work. Now we find himself in a position where he can lose the stock first. Axe, holy water, everything. From the whole kick to sink out of the other ones across coming back. Nice. But yeah, Nitro doing a good job of doing this. First dock, angled forward air. Column slipping just a little bit. And now Nitro in a position to really just hold on the lead. But nice. Parry. Parry the holy water and just up smashes him right in the face. That's exactly what you're going to see. Yeah, that up smash from Bowser Jr., the second fastest up smash in the entire game after Dave. It's just so potent, and it actually scoops from a lot of other distances than the generation suggests. Yeah. Big combo coming from the uh, up throw, man. He's carrying him all the way up to the top of the screen, trying to set up as best he can. Megatru is on the power floor. He's not going to do anything too crazy, but... Opportunity here starts. Catch up. I would love to see him continue to put on the pressure and not really, you know, get intercepted by these projectiles. And I feel like Nitro is not getting the setup he wants due to the platform layout. I really like how Kitchen is maneuvering out throughout the platforms, not staying on the ground, letting Nitro just throw things at him. Yeah, Nitro has been able to get some up tilts onto him, but hardly anything after that. His up tilt doesn't really set up too much. Ooh. Yeah, he knew he was going to roll there, but he's just a little bit too early up and down. He charged it slightly. I think Nitro would have rolled it too, but there's the jab at the ledge. Okay, what's he going to do with this thing up here? Goes straight down for it's giving him room to tether back. Oh, I don't know about that jumping off blade like that. And now Nitro gets the top junior to get up uh, leg guard of his own. Nice. Using that max range F tilt super quick. Really strong poke from Richter. Now Nitro is trying to see if he can keep him off stage or uh, keep center stage. Nice. Catching the roll again. Another up smash kill from Ketchup. Even Battlefield's high ceiling is not enough to save the bear. Ketchup just had that space to himself and occupied that under the right perfectly using that 
sort of shadow distance to his advantage. And this is best two out of three, so loser of this, I'm going to the loser bracket where you don't want to be. Oh yeah, Kill is like, uh, I don't know can I still win, but if he's still in, you don't want to play against him. <laughs> I mean, Nito's down there. Oh yeah, Nito too. Really stacked, really stacked players too. Or sorry, three times players. There's a murder of world team that the Zephyr would want to drop down right here, which neither of these two are looking for. Alright, catch him again. He's using the platforms. He knows exactly what he should be doing to avoid getting hit by all these crazy projectiles that, you know, Magic's trying to catch him with. Back able to get one up air, but unable to get the chain start. Yeah, he's getting hit by these aerials from Nitro, but for the most part, he's avoiding any projectile that can lead to a set He's really good for him. Man, the cross goes right through the menu, so that's important. This is where we can really see the disadvantages of Richter and the Belmonts. The kill power, especially on a stage with high skill for a copy out of shield is both kind of kill option. It can be severely limited from a character that has some movement. But he does finally get that forward air, kind of pressure him at the ledge just a little bit. But uh yeah, it's not gonna be easy. I got like you said, it's not bad for him to rack up for Sif. Getting the kill outside of the situational setup is not easy at all for uh, Richter. He is still the percent lead back though. Nitro's not looking too bad in this match so far. Kenzo might be getting a little bit frustrated too, like, by getting thrown out. Ooh. The Mega Cooper though to the back here. Okay, Arturi avoids the playoff stage with the uh, up B, but man, he's making it big again. Kenzo's not able to apply that much pressure. It's unfortunate. Like, he's getting Richter off stage, which he wasn't supposed to do, but he can't complete the edge guard. Slight miss the axe there, but. Nitro continuing with his projectile pressure. This is looking really strong for him right now. Oh man, Kenzo is trying to find a way in without doing anything too unsafe. But Nitro, man, it's looking rough. Great punish on that upbeat. Now let's get away with that for free. Yeah, even with the direct escape to the platform. Oh, oh he oh, 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 was in range. Dang. I think he needed a dash up after he got the parry there. Oh, oh the neutral get up. Dang. I mean, sooner or later, one of those steps is going to work on Nitro's part. And to his credit, he really just worked it out well. He spaced himself perfectly. Ketchup was just cock slipping.